Leishmaniasis is a zoonotic disease caused by protozoan parasites spread by sandflies. It needs to be diagnosed by a veterinarian. Although it is not curable, treatment can manage the symptoms and allow for quality of life. Animal Wise looks at possible supportive treatments at home for this serious canine disease. Correct nutrition. A quality diet is always necessary to maintain a dog's health, but it will be even more important when the animal is affected by an illness such as leishmaniasis. The first thing we must do is review the diet of the affected dog. A good diet contributes to the proper functioning of the body and keeps the immune system ready to help fight against disease. Above, we share a video in which we talk about four different types of food for dogs. Hydration. Leishmaniasis can affect the functioning of gastrointestinal transit as well as other bodily symptoms, so proper water intake is essential. Clean and fresh water must be available to the dog at all times, even more if we only provide them with dry kibble, since it's a product with a reduced water content. Stress reduction. Stress can greatly affect the immune system. For this reason, ensuring the dog's environment is free from stressors will be very important for an already sick dog. This involves keeping a quiet home, ensuring they have places to rest, maintaining a suitable routine, and even simply providing them with attention and affection. Discover the signs of stress in dogs in the video we share on the card above. Daily exercise. Infected dogs can be anemic and suffer pain, so we cannot overexert them. We should establish an exercise routine that meets their needs and capabilities, such as taking them for walks. This not only gives them exercise, it allows them to experience environmental enrichment and interact with others. Improving their quality of life in this way helps manage their symptoms. Quality of life. Quality of life in general is very important for helping a dog with leishmaniasis. It is vital we follow the treatment prescribed by the veterinarian, but we need to monitor them for any changes and provide basic support. This includes taking them to the vet if symptoms worsen or a relapse occurs. Many dogs will have protracted treatment, especially if they have immunity issues. Alternative therapies. There are no real home remedies for leishmaniasis. Supportive therapies have been suggested, but using them as a replacement for veterinary medical treatment set out by the veterinarian is very dangerous and can be fatal in some cases. If there are any particular therapies you would like to try in addition to the clinical treatment determined by your vet, you'll need to confer with them before doing so. Some immunity boosters may work to support them overall, but we need to be careful in case they are contraindicated with their existing treatment. The importance of prevention. The best treatment of leishmaniasis in dogs is prevention. We must not forget that leishmaniasis can be fatal for our dog. In turn, they can become a reservoir for the protozoa and infect other dogs and people. Prevention requires deworming with antiparasitics that keep sandflies away from our dog, but other measures include not walking them during the hours of greatest incidence of sandflies, specifically at dusk and dawn. Not leaving them outdoors, especially at night. Using mosquito nets on doors and windows in the home. Avoiding accumulations of organic matter, as this is where sandflies can gather. Vaccinating against leishmaniasis if the veterinarian recommends it. If you live in a high-risk area, have travelled to one, have just adopted a dog or simply want to clear any doubts, test your dog to find out if it is a carrier of leishmaniasis. If so, you can start treatment early. Finally, sterilisation of males and females is recommended since sexual and mother-to-child transmission of this disease is possible. If you want to learn more about diseases in dogs and veterinary advice, don't miss the playlist we share here. If you have experience with this disease, please share in the comments to help other guardians. We'll see you next time.